Okay, hello. Um, let me start by introducing myself. I'm Liadama. I'm part of the Ops Clan, and I love Gmod. I love Wiremod. I love everything about Gmod. I just find the game itself to be completely ingenious. And hopefully, I'm starting up a series of tutorials um, based on whatever mods I can find that I can figure out how to work and pretty much explain it to you guys. All right, in this tutorial, I'm pretty much going to give you guys a basic basic handle on the Stargate mod. You guys have probably heard about it. A lot of you know how to use it, but some of you don't. So this video is for you guys who don't know how to use it. Alright, so I spawned a Stargate. This is it. Big circle thingy. Lights and stuff. And there's another gate version of the gate. This is the Atlantis gate. Give me a sec there. The Atlantis gate. They're basically the same thing, except just different versions of each other and depends on which one you choose they just dial differently so they're pretty much the same thing um, let me spawn up a DHD. A DHD is what you would essentially type in what address you want to go basically going to the gate uh, same thing for this one this is the SG-1 version and this is the SG-1 gate this is the Atlantis gate and here's the Atlantis DHD okay so let's start by naming the gates so you're gonna go up to the gate you're gonna press E you can have a whole bunch of gate settings. You have your address, your name, your private, your search, search Stargate refresh list, your address, dial mode, uh, dial the Stargate, and abort dialing. So you're gonna start by naming the gate whatever you want. So I'm gonna start by calling mine gate 01. Um, the address has to be at least has to doesn't have to be at least it has to be six characters long. Alphanumeric. That's pretty much it and name. Alright, so you're gonna call this whatever you want it. This is what it's gonna be, like the description basically. So, Stargate 1. Alright, now private mode, private Stargates are unsearchable, but they can still be called. What that means is they're unsearchable, meaning you can't find them in the list of Stargates, but you can still dial them up. So if you'd want to not be listed, you'd click private, but since we don't want it to be listed, we don't. Alright, so now search. Search is when you're on a server with like 30 different stargates, you don't know what to do, and you'll have to basically just filter out the gate you're looking for. Search the stargate, meaning you press it and it searches. And refresh list. Refresh list is if some random idiot is just spawning like 30 stargates at once, and he's. You have to refresh your list. Your address is basically the address you're sending it to. We'll worry about that later. The dial mode. Um, dial mode. There's two different dial modes. There's a slow dial mode, and then there's this fast dial mode. If you have it checked, it's the fast dial mode. If you have it unchecked, it's the slow dial mode. Dial the Stargate. You would click this once your address is set. You would click Dial the Stargate, and Abort Dialing slash Close Gate, which means abort the dialing, or if it's in the middle of dialing, or you can just abort the gate. You can just, if, they, if there's a wormhole that's open, a wormhole is what you use to travel through, um, it would just basically just close the gate right there. Alright, so let's go up and set up our other address. We'd call this one gate two. And if it's valid, I would say if it would be valid, like if you try to put two characters right after each other, you wouldn't be able to. But if it was to be valid, you'd hear a sound. So name star gate two. Let me go show you what private does. Look, private. Close this. I go up to my other gate to look for this, to look for my other gate. I can't find it. It's private. How and look. If I go up here, I uncheck private. I close this. I go up to the SG1 gate. Open it. There it is. Right there. Alright, so you can dial the Stargate in two different ways. You can go directly up to the gate. Or, so the gate's dialed up, you press X, the gate closes. Or you can dial it directly from the DHD, which is this thing right here. Get it up. Alright. Also, you have to remember when you're dialing up a Stargate. After you're done dialing in your your gate address, you always have to press this numpad button or pound key, and then you press the center button. Always, always, always. 
All right, now this is all right. So that's pretty much the basis is of using Stargate. Also, you can go up in your tools. I'm going to show you something else. Let me explain to you the principles of incoming and outgoing wormholes. Outgoing wormholes meaning is the gate that you're dialing with to go to this gate. So if I were to dial up this Atlantis gate. Alright, so this would be the outgoing wormhole, meaning I can go through this one and come out the other one. And this would be the incoming wormhole. Meaning if I would go through this one, I would automatically die. I'll show you guys what I mean. What I prefer like to use for incoming wormholes is I like to use an Atlantis gate rather than an SG-1 gate because when an incoming wormhole is incoming, it's more visible. Like if an incoming wormhole is coming through a SG-1 gate, all the, the um, these things we call them, they're called chevrons, would light up one after another as if you were to dial a gate. So you'd think someone was dialing a gate, but if you're if there's an incoming wormhole into an Atlantis gate, you would know because you would know because all the lights light up sim simultaneously. There's a big difference. I just prefer using it. So if I were to go through this outgoing, I'd kill myself. Alright. Enough with the chatter talk. Alright. Here's the Stargate tool. You probably have it. You have weapons, drone staff weapon, cloaking iris, mobile DHD shield, zero point module, iris remote. Pretty much the only tools I worry about are iris. Iris is really cool. All right, you spawn up an iris is basically what allow uh, allows people to come through the gate. Like if I were to click on the stargate with the iris spawner. Now, if I were to get an incoming wormhole through this gate and you try to come in, you get killed. This is for the SG-1. For the Atlantis, would be a, a shield. The only downside of this is the shield makes this really, really annoying tone that lasts there forever. Okay, zero point module. Zero point module is used with the life support systems. Um, it's really, really like kind of. It's almost like cheating, but it's not at the same time. This thing has so much power; it's unbelievable. Uh, let me go up into my life support storage devices. Large energy cell. Look at this. I don't know if you know how much energy can be held in the energy tool. It's filling up. It's full right now. It's full, and it's only at 99.45% energy. This thing carries so much power, it's unbelievable. Alright. Now, the mobile DHD. Mobile DHD is basically this thing, this thing right here, but in a smaller form. Like, if you're in limited space, like you would use a keyboard. It does, it does the same job. That's really good when you're limited on space. Alright, let's see what else I have to cover. Um, that's pretty much it. We'll worry about the ring transporter later. But that's pretty much the base. Oh, um, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, you can also use a Stargate with a wire. There's a lot of things you can do with this thing. Alright, I just took out my debugger tool. Alright. So your, in, your inputs, you can input your close, your dial address, dial mode, disable, auto close. Uh, you can also have your out, your active, your chevron, and your inbound and open. Um, I find this to be really useful considering I'm going to show you guys how to make the coolest thing for Stargate fans. Um, that's pretty much the basis of using Stargate. Hope this tutorial has helped you guys. And I'm Leodama.